Peggy 12. Capcom TGS Live 2020. Let's move on to our next title. So, it is time to talk a bit more about Monster Hunter Rise and Monster Hunter Stories 2, The Wings of Ruin. We announced these games only recently, but they've already got lots of people talking. So, this presentation will be simultaneously interpreted into both English and Chinese. Uh, hi, that's me. Uh, if you want more information and you're not, you know, don't know how to listen to the thing that I'm saying right now, please go onto their official website. So, first, we're going to start with the Monster Hunter Rise, and we've got the producer, Ryozo Tsujimoto, and the director, Yasunori Ichinose, here to tell you more about the game. Hi, I'm Tsujimoto. Oh, you can see the little text right there. And I am the director, Ichinose. So, Mr. Sijumoto, you already talked a bit about these games at TGS Online 2020 yesterday. Uh, so, so, what do you have in store for us today? So, on this show, I will show, cover what I talked about yesterday a little bit, but I will also be showing you uh, an exclusive first look at live gameplay. We hope that you're looking forward to it. Wow, that sounds exciting. It's going to be the first ever reveal of this gameplay. So let's not waste any more words. Where do you want to start? We'll start off by uh, showing you the, uh, the first trailer that we showed yesterday at Tokyo Game Show 2020, the special Tokyo Game Show 2020 version. Uh, we want you to take another look at it today. Wow, that was 
That was just the first trailer for the game. Uh, so we were wondering what kind of game uh, Monster Hunter Rise is exactly after seeing that. So let me tell you. So our main focus on Monster Hunter Rise is making use of the portability of the Nintendo Switch, which allows you to kind of pick up and play the game wherever you want, whenever you want, and with anyone you want. But I also go into more detail later, but the Rise in the title refers to the the freedom of movement that the player has. Um, we thought a lot about you know, what to kind of do. And you'll be able to see a lot of this when we do the game play later. But you're able to really jump upwards and use the wire bug to climb to all sorts of places. So that sort of rise is something that we wanted to bring into the title. So, uh, now, uh, from here on, Ichi no and I will tell you what kind of game Monster Hunter Rise is going to be, what kind of features it's going to have. So let's start with the new player actions. We have some images for you on the screen. So as you can see, uh, the player is using something called the wire bug, which allows you to give all sorts of new actions. So as you can see, this not only lets you scale steep cliffs and reach high places, uh, it, allows, um, it allows you very quick movement. And as you saw in the trailer, it allows uh, you to combine it with your weapon for a variety of spectacular attacks. So that's, you know, it gives it Monster Hunter a completely fresh hunting experience in this uh, rise. So the wire bug allows for a variety of new actions. Um, so using this one gives you all sorts of things that you can do, uh, and that increases your options in combat. It also gives uh, you a lot more traversal options and the game a much faster pace. Uh, and you can see the difference, like another thing that we have did is the difference between the camp and the locales that you visit, uh, there is no borders in between them, so you can go straight into the action. So now we'd like to introduce a new locale. This one's called the Shrine Ruins, which is kind of like an old temple that's been ruined by the time. It's a ravaged field left over with old building. You'll actually be able to see this a little bit more up close during some live gameplay uh, in a moment. We hope you look forward to it. Wow, I can't wait to see it. So in that trailer, uh, it also included something else, right? Uh, a new, I think it was a body, right? It looks new, right? Can you tell us a bit more about that? So this new type of buddy is known as a Palamute. So Palamutes uh, actively coordinate attacks with a player. And you can even, I think like, just like you're saying right here, you can ride on their backs to move quickly around the map. Uh, they're invaluable allies in and out of combat. So while you're riding a Palamut, you're allowed to move around freely. And your hunter's stamina, normally without the Palamut, your hunter's stamina would increase, but when you're riding a Palamut, your hunter's stamina doesn't decrease. So you can run across each area freely and really just kind of explore to your heart's content. Also, while you're riding a Palamut, you can also use some items and do some actions like recover your health, and we'll show you a little bit of that later. Well, it's really nice how seamless the game is and how stress-free it is because you can just move around uh, on the back of the Palico, Palicoot. And of course, Palicoots are back too, right? And he says, of course, it wouldn't be Monster Hunter without them. So, uh, so obviously this time we have these Palamutes as well, but for this time, we also have Palicoots, of course, and when you're playing solo play, you're actually able to bring two buddies, uh, two buddies with you. So you can decide to bring two Palamutes or two Palicoots or one Palamute and one Palico. So whether or not you like 
like doji's or cats. Uh, you can kind of pick whichever combination of them that you want. And when you're playing multiplayer, you can only bring one buddy with you. So you you know, can pick the one that you like. Once again, cat person, dog person, or whatever. Uh, you can also choose not to bring a buddy as well. Uh, we kind of leave it up to the player to decide their own method of gameplay. Wow, she says, it's, they're really like, the game is like really fun. There's lots of enter, you know, people who are involving people, animals, buddies. So uh, obviously the monsters are the stars of the show because it's Monster Hunter, right? Ichino, uh, Mr. Ichinose, could you tell us about them? So uh, we talked about this uh, before, the flagship monster of Monster Hunter Rise. It is the Magna Malo, which is a fearsome Fang Wyvern. Uh, you can kind of see it's got this strong air of menace about it. Um, it's really kind of this big, imposing thing that you'll have to fight. We'll be able to give you more information, but that will all be coming later. Sorry, uh, could you wait a little bit more? I'm sure you're excited to find out more, but it will be coming in the future. So we also added many unique new monsters, like the Aknosum, the Great Izuchi, and the Tetrana Dom. Um, there's also some many favorite, there also will be many fan favorites uh, returning to this game as well. So we hope that everybody is looking forward to seeing both old friends and new enemies. So there's lots of things that you know, we haven't talked about today, but we'll be able to reveal a lot more as we go on in the future. And of course, we haven't talked about any of the, um, old, the old enemies who are returning, so uh, please keep your eye out for new information. So that's basically everything. We should just move straight to the gameplay. I think I think everybody is expecting or looking forward to that the most. So that's going to be our general summary, and now we'll get to the gameplay. So this is going to the very first live gameplay um, ever seen. What we'll be showing off today? So uh, we're going to be showing you off the Shrine Ruins, that uh, locale that we talked about before. We also show you how you can move around using the wire bug. Um, also, your Palamut will, uh, and a Palico, we're going to bring a Palamut and a Palico around. Uh, we'll mostly be talking about the Palamut because he's new and we'll be uh, showing you a lot about him. So we're also going to be showing off a new monster, the Tubby Tetranodon. Tetranodon. And while we're doing that, we're going to be using the uh, dual blades. And that's what we'll be talking about as we are seeing. Are we ready? All right, let's do it. Let's give, let's give it a shot. So this is the... Uh, those runes, the shrine runes that we talked as well. And you can see the, funter, the hunter is already in the locale. Here's the camp over here. Uh, just so you know, they already accepted a two-star quest to hunt down a Tetranodon before they came here. So they're just going straight to the accent to show it off to you. So you can see some kind of cool uh, rock formations around you. He's showing you this beautiful river as well. And oh man, I bet like the air is just really fresh here. Ah, nature. So he's popping into the tent now. And this is the item box and the uh, buddy board. Here you can, uh, he's showing you an option that lets you eat as well. So yeah, the first option is the item box, the second one is the buddy board, and the third one is eat. The fourth one is get out of here. Uh, if you go to the top one, the item box, you're able to uh, manage your equipment and change you know, what you're using. So we're going to have 14 weapons uh, from you know like that you've seen in the series before. So I think people are looking forward to a lot of weapons that they've seen in the past. But we'll be talking a lot more about what those weapons later, so uh, stay tuned for more information. Uh, you know, this is nothing to do before, but you had like a lot of money, didn't you, he was. Apparently in the item box, you could see the cash somewhere, and he was like, man, you are rich. It's like, I have been getting the money. 
と、まあ、画面見ていただいたら今、えー、使っていただいて、そう、はい、you saw him just use this on the screen. That was the wire bug. So you can see kind of right below, on the center of the screen, below the feet of the player, there are these like two little icons that are slowly refilling. That is the wire bug icon. Uh, you can use two of them initially, and when you use one of them, you can see it kind of like um, becomes like temporarily unavailable. So you're able to use two of them quickly in unison in a row, and then obviously you can see them recharging below as well. She was really excited about the fact that you on top of that tent. And uh, he wants to add that, you know, you can use the wire box to get all over the place, access all sorts of really interesting places. You can go vertically, horizontally. Basically, you just use that aiming uh, reticule that he popped up before, put it in the direction of the direction you want to throw the wire bug, and then there it goes. It's really a free system that gives you a lot of versatility. Versatility. Uh, I bet you know we can probably make it up here too. Look. Aha. So, you know, if you're, if you're on the edge, you know, you can use them to do like little, little jumps to get up the uh, over places that are in the way and you'll get over obstacles. So, it's really helpful to have. So, you can kind of use the wire bugs to search around the environment and find hidden gathering points and discover really interesting, kind of cute little things that we've you know, included in the game. It's a really great way to kind of explore the world of Monster Hunter Rise. And uh, they're really tall, and he's like, Is it okay to jump down? And obviously, it is. So, so it looks like you can use the wire bug as you're. <laughs> as you're falling down to you know, make it look cooler. But he says, actually, if you fall and you hit the ground, you still won't take damage. So the wire bug is just entirely if you want to be classy. So um, we were talking about the wire bug on the bottom, but next you can see to the right of that, there is this little icon mesh. We are calling this the action slider. And using that, you can issue orders to your palamute or do other sorts of things. So, you know, like right now, he used it to jump onto the back of the Palamut. And while you're on the back, like, and you can do dashes and jumps. And the Palamut's actually, you know, got a little bit of a nice addition. So you can see he kind of grabbed on the edge of that uh, hut and jumped on the top. So, um, you know, basically, it's really helpful to have the uh, Palamut around to access all these areas and move about quickly. Sorry, I'm going to get off of him really quickly. So you can also use the uh, that action bar to do some communication with your, your buddies. Like this one, like, sit. Or, you know, like, shake hands. Good dog. You can also do it with the palicos as well. Oh, oh, look how adorable he is. I mean, this has nothing to do with actual gameplay elements. It's just, you know, fun. It's just pure delight. High five, cat. High five. So, yeah, the action uh, that lets you use uh, kind of all sorts of things. As you saw, there were... Uh, actually, to do with your animals, with your pet, with your sorry, your buddies, and you could also do things like summon the Palamut to ride it. So uh, you saw me just kind of do this quick, nice slide down the mountain, and we're in this new area now. So this is the main field of the area. So I talked a little bit this about this. Uh, you can join on the, uh, you can summon kind of the Palamut to jump on it using the action slider. But if you're near the Palamut, you can also just hold A to like just hop onto his back real quick as a sort of shortcut. Um, he's also showing you that you can use, uh, you can set shortcuts um, to kind of make it easier to use the commands that you want to use you very often. So you can see he's setting it right now. 
まあ、回復アイテムとかが。I've said things to like use healing items and whatnot. そういったことも、sharpen weapons and etc. etc. こう、単純に乗って移動するだけではなく、問題にながら。The,、uh, while you're on the power mood, you're not just moving. You're able to do other things and get all sorts of actions done and you know, prepare for battle and whatnot. So, next up is you can see this little green thing, right? It's kind of like、uh, a little ball. That is called an endemic life. So, you can collect these to do things like get little buffs, like heal or get stamina back. Or gain other sorts of benefits.、Uh, it's only these quests,、uh, these buffs are temporary. They're only active for the quest that you're on. So we just kind of triggered the, the bad guy. We pulled him. So we're going to run over here so we can do some other stuff first before we go into the fight. So normally,、uh, you see there's now three symbols for the wire bug on the bottom. Before, we had only two. So、uh, what this is, is during you know, quests, you can find wire bugs in the wild,、uh, wire bugs in the wild, that was weird,、uh, to actually increase the max amount of wire bug usage you have in that quest、uh, by up to three. And that kind of will help you get a little bit more、uh, mobility and move around a little bit more. He also mentioned using it with the power moot.、Um, but sorry, I think I missed that little bit. I think he's just talking about climbing the vines that you saw before. So, all the buff items that you like, are used to from the Monster series, of course, will remain in the series. This is an entirely new element that they have added to the game. So,、uh, you know, like, you can kind of like search around the map and discover like your best routes to monsters and figure out the best way to play it. There are some that, you know, you don't have to do any of these to win.、Uh, these are all kind of optional things if you want to go out of your way to find the extra buffs. So, it's all, you know, kind of. Gives you a lot more、uh, ways to approach the game. So, over here, you can see this kind of、uh, grass thing that he is messing around with. It. So, you can see over here, he just like, found、uh, a great wire bug in there. And you can use those ones that you found to make these super huge jumps, like the one that you just saw. You saw he just leaped up a tremendous distance. So, you know, like searching through the yokels, you can find really cool items like this and you know, endemic lives and wire bugs that will let you maneuver and gain more buffs.、Uh, it's a really interesting thing that adds、uh, rewards to the exploration aspect of the game. So, I'm going to grab this little endemic life right here. He's going to jump around through some bamboo. So, outside of the areas that you、uh, fight the monsters, like the one that you just saw, there's also these kind of like little side areas that are basically you won't find any large monsters wandering in here, but there's tons of endemic life for you to go around and look in. And,、uh, you know, there's some like destructible environmental、uh, bits that you can go and find hidden monster or hidden, sorry, hidden endemic life, collect them. Gain some buffs. Of course, you know, like, you know, all these buffs really help you defeat monsters, but、um, you know, they're not necessary. If you're you know, really good at these games and you're an experienced veteran of the Monster Hunter series, you can probably go straight into fighting the monsters if you want to. All this stuff is, you know, once again, just an extra bit. So,、uh, the endemic life、uh, definitely d o all sorts of things. Like, there's buffs. There's also some of them that can be used, like items and other things.、Uh, we'll be giving more information about these on a later date. But,、uh, you know, right now, I think that's all we're going to say about them. So, you can see him. They were talking about, can we climb up here? And then he's like, yeah, I can check this out. So, you can use、uh, the wire bug to get up here if you want to, or you can use the palamute.、Uh, there's lots of ways to maneuver around the environment and explore. So, you know, find a way that suits you, find a way that you like, and play the sort of game you want to play.
と慣れてくると、いろいろと、そういったものが、そういったものが、そういったものが、そういったものが、そういったものが、そういったものが、そういったものが、そういったものが、そういったものが、そういったものが、そういったものが、そういったものが、そういったものが、そういったものが、そういったものが、そういったものが、そういったものが、そういったものが、そういったものが、そういったものが、そういったものが、そういったものが、そうですね。えー、っと、二番のエリアからちょうど、えー、こちらにってきたので。そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、But you can see on the bottom left there's that sort of map, and that will generally show you where monsters are on. And if you know what the monster is, it will show up as a little symbol, but、uh, the question marks are monsters that you haven't kind of encountered yet, so you don't know what they are. So, there's also like this special item that kind of looks like a little owl that you can send off into the distance that will search out and scout out the locations and types of monsters and so on. A scouting item, I suppose. So、uh, now we're showing off the Tetranodon, and this is an amphibious,、uh, hefty chunk, as I think I said yesterday. He's, he's really big already, but while he's fighting,、uh, you can see him now, he's actually pretty big up. Once he eats something, he gets、uh, extra full, he gets just practically pudgy. And、uh, what happens when that happens, he gets heavier and his. Attacks become stronger.、Um, it also changes his attack patterns a little bit. So, you know, he moves slower because of this, so it's a nice, kind of like, different way of fighting the monster. So now I'm going to show you a little bit more about the dual blades. Wow, look at that. Look at that stomp.、Oof. So he's just hitting it normally now, but. So, right now he's used the wire bugs, but you're able to use the wire bug in coordination with your attack, like as you're seeing he's doing right here with the dual blades to do some extra attacks. And every weapon has a number of different patterns and things you can do,、uh, you know, collaborations attacks、uh, that you can coordinate and attacks you can make with a wire bug. And a lot of them really sort of、uh, go well with the sorts of weapons you're using. So, like, you know, this one lets you increase your mobility and do extra damage at very specific points. So,、uh, I'm going to show you one right now. It looks like he's going to throw the. Wire bug forward. Ah, so you throw the、uh, wire bug forward, and if the monster makes an attack into it, it gives you a chance to make a counter attack against it. So there are really cool、uh, ways to use the wire bug in sort of a supportive role for your main weapon. And do I think he, yeah, he just showed you right there. It was a little bit close,、cool, so it was kind of hard to see. But right as the monster attacked him, he threw out the wire bug, which was going to make that really cool counter attack. There was again, I think. So, depending on you know, the power of the wire bug coordinate attack that you make, you might use one or maybe two of these wire bug icons on the bottom.、Uh, you, can use, you, know, you can use them、uh, for this one. You know, there's ways to use this to make attacks, there's ways to use it as an innovation.、Uh, we hope everybody kind of experiments and tries to find out ways to use these various abilities to support their own particular game styles. So, you can see this power mood over here. He's you know, fighting.、Um, so, one thing people are probably worried about is that the power mood you know, does have HP. He can get hurt, but he will never die. So, even if you get really,、uh, even if it gets really hurt bad, he'll kind of run off and not be available for a bit, healing up, eating doggy treats or something. So, I think. I think we still have time. He's thinking about ending the、uh, gameplay here, but we have a little bit more time, so he's going to maybe do it a little bit more. <laughs> They're kind of discussing what do we want to do now. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people want to see this whole fight out and see everything. 
きましょうか、うん、でもあちょっと勝てないどちらはわしらなんかがわからないんでああオーケーそれでは一回もう一回もう一回もう一回もう一回もう一回もう一回もう一回もう一回もう一回もう一回もう一回もう一回もう So, yeah, we have this guy who just ran over here. Oh my god. So, I think they said the name of it.、Um, sorry, I don't recognize the name of that monster in English. But he's adorable. Also terrifying. So, there's also,、uh, it sounds like he is a monster from the previous series. So, we have quite a few of them in this game as well.、Uh, so, this is, I guess, a surprise reveal of this little、uh, monster right here. Dojo. <laughs> it sounds like the Japanese is Dojo. I might have missed that. Sorry, I'm sure everybody who's watching this is more、uh, familiar with this monster than I am. So. So, yeah, one interesting thing that we like to talk about is in this game,、um, kind of different from the other previous Monster Hunters, is the player character talks a lot more than it used to.、Um, you know, yell, shell, yell, shout and yell and taunt and so on. But there isn't. Option in the menu that allows you to kind of adjust this. So if you think, like, you know, you don't want to hear your hunter talk, you want him to just be quiet and stab things, you're able to change that and make it more just about, you know, the quiet, solitary hunter sort of thing. So yeah, it's customizable. You can、uh, adjust the rate of character speech in the game. So they're kind of、uh, reiterating that, and they're talking about, you know, like if you really want to listen to the character as the character, or if you really want to focus on the action, you can kind of mix around with that. So, yeah, we hope you,、uh, everybody's looking forward to trying out all these new different abilities and seeing the monsters and everything. So it sounds like we have some more time. <laughs> so <laughs> more time than we initially thought we had. So we're gonna go.、Uh, so we're gonna go on a little bit more of a, you know, like a walkabout. I guess we have some leftover time, so we're gonna go on a walkabout and explore a little bit more.、Uh, so I think they're gonna try to. You see that. So, yeah, this is the first you know, actual gameplay footage of this. So, like, you know, let's go extra far. Let's go the extra mile and show, like, literally, let's go the extra mile and show some more stuff. So, so there. So, this is all something that he doesn't know what's going to be waiting in this direction. So, yeah, like that kind of like triple wire bug thing he did there.、Um, she kind of, she、uh, commented on how like, really nice that felt to see and do. And he's like, yeah, this is that mobility, the kind of light, the ability to run around and be mobile and explore the game.、Uh, that's a really fun part of this. So,、uh, They're just going to keep exploring. Oh, wow, look at him climb that cliff. And, and you can use the、uh, wire bug to kind of check out where you want to go, like that as well. So you can also,、um, for the most part, we showed him climbing、uh, the wall to straight, but you can go sideways and a little bit more all sorts of directions. It's a, we wanted to make it a really easy,、uh, easy con like controls that are simple and easy to understand, but also gives you this really cool, strong feeling of you know, traversing this environment and exploring all these interesting places.、Oh, let's run over here. He's <laughs> like, let's go over there. He's like, is there something over there?、Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> So, so they don't really know where to go. They're just kind of wandering around. <laughs> like, yeah,、uh, wander over here. Let's see what we can say. Oh, here. See this little guy. She's commenting,、uh, she's commenting on how cute he is. And he's saying this is kind of like a tanuki, like a raccoon dog.、Um, it's kind of like a little mascot character of this.、Uh, I guess he doesn't realize you're there, or he, maybe he doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, he, he's a friendly little guy. He doesn't really care. <laughs> yeah, this kind of look like, oh, you're doing here. I'm just going to do what I want.
これぐらいにしましょうか。そうです。Right. I think we're gonna end it there. 今日の実機のプレイはえこれぐらいにしておきます。So、uh, that is gonna be it for today's gameplay. 結構長くお見せできましたね。So we actually showed you longer than we thought, but、uh, thank you for the gameplay and、uh, <laughs> we hope everybody is looking forward to this, or hope everybody had a good time. So now that we know more about the game itself, can you tell us more about what we should expect at launch? So first,、uh, I'll go over kind of everything. First off, Mountain to Rise will be released worldwide on March 26, 2020. We will have both a physical version and a digital version, so you can pick whichever one that you like. Though, there will also be a、uh, Monster Hunter Rise、uh, Deluxe Edition that has layered armor pieces, a layered armor pieces for your Palico and Palamute. Um, um, you can see kind of some of the information here, but all of this information will also be on our official website. Wow, that sounds really fun. So, one thing I want to ask does Tundra and Rise have any nice bonus items? So, yeah, supply will be limited、uh, for all of the versions, but all versions will include a special layered armor for your Palamut and your Palico. So, you can see the Palamute has the Retriever costume layered armor, and the Palico has the Forest Cat costume、uh, layered armor. They're super cute, right? She's commenting. I also heard that there will be amiibos as well. So, yeah, we were going to have three Monster Hunter Rise amiibos released on the same day as the game a、uh, Magnamalo, a Palamute, and a Palico. So, these will be yeah, available on the same day as the game. Of course, these tie into the game itself, and you can use them to unlock things in the game.、Uh, special Layered armors. So we hope everybody is excited to grab them and check it out. So there will also be、uh, some other stuff, some crossover content with Monster Hunter Stories 2, which was also announced simultaneously with Monster Hunter Rise. We hope everybody is looking forward to more info on that. Right now,、uh, pre orders for the digital version and the physical version、um, have already gone live. So, everything we talked about today will be put up on the official website as well, so don't forget to give it a look. All right, I think that about wraps things up. Now, Monster to Rise comes out on March 26th, 2021. That is March 26th, 2021.、Uh, do you have any final words for our viewers about the game? I got a bit ahead of my doubt. Now they're talking about their final words. So,、uh, to everyone who tuned in to watch our presentation on Monster to Rise here for Capcom TGS Live 2020,、uh, we hope that you like the、um, you know, world's first view of the gameplay that we showed today. You know, of course, <laughs> we showed a lot more things. That we, more things that we intended to. So we hope that you enjoy that, and you're, but you're still looking forward to finding out all sorts of new information that we do have available for you in the future. So, yeah, we hope you had a good time, and thank you for every watching today. Next, Sujimoto, do you have words for us? So, we will keep bringing you the latest info on Monster to Rise in the future,、uh, and there will be a lot more to talk about before March 2020 2021. There's still so much more to talk about, so、uh, if you want any more information, please make sure to follow the official、uh, SNS accounts. You can see some of them appear, like Line and Twitter.、Um, There will be more information on Monster Hunter uh, Rise uh, as we move on to the future, so keep a look out on it. So, thank you, Mr. Ichinose. That's all、um, we have for today.、Uh, that's all we have from, sorry, that's all from Mr. Ichinose.、Um, thank you very much for joining. We still have more to talk about. We're going to be talking about、uh, Mr. We're going to be talking about Monster Hunter Stories 2:、uh, Wings of Ruin with Mr. Sujimoto.
Great. So Monster Hunter Rise, uh, so released at the, sorry, announced at the same time as Monster Hunter Rise was Monster Hunter Stories 2, The Wings of Ruin. Um, we showed off a trailer uh, when we announced it before, but we'd like to show it to you again for anybody who is interested. So here it is. So that was the promotional video for Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. Now, what can you tell us about the game? So we announced this the other day. So uh, thank you, everybody, for all the great responses to uh, our reveal. So this is a game that's slightly different uh, from the normal Monster Hunter games, where you're a Monster Hunter and you're uh, fighting monsters it's a very action-focused game. In this game, however, it's going to be different. It's going to be a role-playing game. And in this world, you're going to be able to uh, become a monster rider and uh, form bonds with monsters, which lets you kind of raise them and explore and do all sorts of really interesting RPG things. So with them, you're going to travel to various locations and progress through stories and quests, so very RPG-like. So now, I want to give you a basic explanation of the Monster Hunter Stories 2 setting. So uh, in this world, Rathalos, uh, all the Rathalos have mysteriously disappeared from the world. So uh, the protagonist is a descendant of the legendary rider Red. And they meet a Wyvarian, a Wyvarian girl who has been entrusted with a mysterious egg. The two then sit on an epic tale surrounding the wings of ruin. And as you saw in the video, there are several familiar monsters such as Rathalos and Legiana. Um, lots of monsters that you've seen from um, the other, you know, other games in the Monster Hunter series. So um, this is an adventure where you travel together with monsters. So the bonds between a rider and the monster naturally play a big part in this story. So this is a way to play Monster Hunter in not the normal action way, but like a slightly different way. Now, can you tell us a little bit more about the characters? Yes, over here he's going to show you this. So, yesterday he introduced uh, the character Red. So he is um, actually kind of a legendary writer. He's not the player. We want to make sure that you know that he is... Um, a legendary character in the world of Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. And so we can't tell you too much about him because that will reveal too much about the plot away. Um, but just so you know, uh, the player, uh, the 
protagonist of this game is going to be the grandson of this legendary rider. Um, and for this, uh, your protagonist, you're going to be able to customize the character as you want. So you can kind of make, you know, show, uh, make a character that really fits you. You can do all sorts of things to make them uh, look in whatever way you want. And you can see four versions um, of a character that we made. These are not the characters you can play. These are examples of the character customization that we have uh, for you, waiting for you in Wings of Ruin. Like, wow, she's uh, commenting on how all of them look really different. So, yes, there's lots of action, uh, options to customize your characters. So um, one thing that's interesting is that um, these riders uh, have weapons. And uh, we, these are a lot from the series. Uh, in addition to the great sword, hammer, sword and shield, and hunting horn from the previous game, we're planning to add two more weapons from the Monster Hunter series. So we hope you look forward to finding out what those are. So now uh, we have another character to talk to you about. So, yeah, I want to talk a little bit more about her in detail. So Anna is a girl who accompanies, accompanies the protagonist on their journey. She is a Wyvarian who has been entrusted with an egg by Ratha. And meeting her is what starts the kind of protagonist's adventure. So these two will go on the adventure together. Yeah, so it's kind of like they're going to form a team and go and have an adventure. So this is something that wasn't included in the video. Um, I brought something to show you guys right here. So this glowing thing you see over there is something called a kinship stone. So the kinship stones are something that riders use to uh, deepen their bonds with the uh, with their monsters that they team up with. So uh, Anna is not a rider, but she does have a kinship stone, and this is key to the story. But we won't tell you about it just yet because that will reveal a little bit way too much. So. Uh, a lot of people are probably thinking about, oh, I wonder what this is about, what sort of story is going to wait for us, but that will happen later. So here are some characters that you saw in the PV, the trailer. We will be telling you more about them in the future. There are, of course, many other characters in the story that we're not introducing today, uh, so please look forward to learning more about them as well. So thank you for the new information. I really look forward to finding out what it is. Uh, so, um, as I mentioned earlier, there are some aspects of this game that tie into Monster Hunter Rise, so you can look forward to that as well. There's also things in Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin, that are in Monster Hunter Rise, so there's a lot of uh, information, uh, you know, kind of collaboration between these two titles. So next, uh, when do you expect people will be able to play Monster Hunter Stories 2, uh, Wings of Ruin for themselves? And Matsumoto, uh, Tsujimoto says that we're planning to release the game in summer of 2021. You can see it on the screen right there. So, uh, we're developing Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin, uh, not just for Monster Hunter fans, but for all RPG fans. So, great, so keep an eye out for more information. And uh, wow, I think that's about all the time we have today. I think next up is Hidai-san going to go with some crazy, super exciting. Uh, they're commenting, um, I'm not sure, this part is not simultaneously translated, interpreted into English, but the uh, two great special uh, guests have a really fun kind of dynamic between them. They're up next. And he's commenting on how they're a really like, interesting pair. And it's, they're going to be really hard, uh, it's really hard knowing that they're going to be following him. So. So now we're coming to the end. Uh, so right before we end, is there anything else you want to say to the viewers before you go, Mr. Tsujimoto? So today we introduced two games, Monster Hunter Rise and Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. So it's, we just you know, announced in these titles right now, so there's tons of things that we want to talk about. But I think that will have to come out at a later date. Uh, we showed some gameplay footage, so uh, I think that's what you're going to see now, but we're going to 
make sure to keep giving you great updates um, as we move on to the future with more information about the game. So please make sure to follow our official LINE account or Twitter or Instagram or all the other official accounts that we have um, for more information, like little short videos and bits of information and pictures and so on. So I hope you're all excited for more news about both of these games.